I'm told this is the week of peace. That's a right laugh, isn't it? What with family barging in, presents to buy for half the world, decorating to do, parties to attend, parties to throw, parties to send your wee ones to. But maybe that's why we stop and think of peace this week. We can get so caught up in all the spirit of the season that we forget about the reason we're celebrating in the first place. The good Lord sent his little boy so we could stop fretting about things. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Prince of Peace, I like the sound of that. Here's a man who came with the power and the wisdom to show us how to live with this peace of his. But as I looked at everything I'd worked so hard to accomplish, it was all so meaningless, like chasing the wind. You see, in the end, it's not a peace that we can make on our own. The world's always going to give us all sorts of reasons to be worried, but all we have to do is lean into Jesus and rest. Everything else is just chasing the wind. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in every way. The Lord be with all of you. So now, as we light this candle, let's thank God for the blessing of peace, his supernatural peace that's so powerful, there's no one that is too much on their plate. He can give peace to them all. This week, as things get more and more busy, take a few minutes to remember one of the most refreshing gifts of all, God's peace. Trust me, it will do you wonders.